In preparation for the rainy season, the hydroelectric power producing areas, Development Commission has held a stakeholders meeting on flood mitigation in Niger State. Managing Director of the Commission, Abubakar Yelwa, stressed the need for attention to behavioral patterns of persons living in riverine areas. Chinemi Bami reports. In August 2022, communities around the riverine areas in Niger State saw one of the worst devastation by flood in 10 years. The flood was majorly caused by excess water released from the dams due to increased rainfall. It is one year after. The rains are back and the fourth hydroelectric power dam is almost completed in Niger State. At this stakeholders meeting, set up by the Hydroelectric Power Producing Areas Development Commission, Hyperdeck, to discuss measures on mitigating flood this year, community heads and traditional council leaders blamed the presence of hydroelectric dams and climate change for the flooding. They said it has changed the agricultural farming system of the people from wet season farming to dry season farming, which cost more with irrigation. Because the dams itself has a limitation at which they can store the water, and by the time the water becomes too voluminous, they also don't have choice than to release this water. The report also identified neither state as among the states that are categorized as high flood risk. In all, 17 local councils are at the risk of flood in Niger State. The managing director of Hyperdeck, Abuakar Yalwa, says while the commission is committed to providing necessary interventions to mitigate the effect of flood, attention should be turned to the behavior of people in the riverine areas, noting that some refuse relocation because of economic benefits from the rivers. A challenge he enjoined traditional authorities and chairman of local government councils to address because of their proximity to the people. It's true. None of them want to leave those historical places, not because of the history, but because of the thick economic issues associated. If you ask a fisherman to leave the riverside by about a kilometer or two, he will prefer to die inside the canoe. He will prefer to move his belongings into the river and live on the canoe. The two abodes approach of having dual uh, settlements, one in the traditional ancestral homes of uh, the people that are attached to their communities and don't want to leave, and then the other one is the land. According to projections, the impending flood in 2023 threatens not only the rural dwellers, but urban settlers as well. Chenemibami, TVC News, Mina.